Adding a retention label to an unstructured document processing model lets you apply its retention policies to files that the model identifies and classifies in a SharePoint document library. For example, we can add a retention label to an insurance notices model to make sure that all files it identifies and classifies in a document library cannot be deleted for the next five months. You can apply a retention label to a model through the model homepage. Through your model settings, select the retention label menu to see a list of the labels that you can apply to the model. After selecting the retention label you want to apply to your model, select Save. For retention labels to be available for you to add to your model, they must first be created and published in the Microsoft 365 Security and Compliance Center. After adding the retention label to your model, you can now apply the updated model to a new library. If you want to apply the new setting to a document library to which your model is already applied, on the model page, select the library, and then select Sync. After syncing your model's retention label update to the document library, if you go to the library, notice that the view now contains a retention label column. If you select the applied model icon, you can also check the applied model properties to see that the retention label has been applied. If you upload files to the document library, the model will not only classify any files that fit the defined content type, but will also apply the retention label to those files. Now that the files have been stamped with the model's retention label, if the policy prevents them from being deleted for a specified amount of time, the files cannot be deleted until the defined time period has expired.